Hi guys, I'm Charlie. Happy Monday, November 14th, and welcome to this big episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Charlie. And hello, Sycamore. Now it's time where we all stand, place our hand over our heart, and join Mr. Foley's class as we honor our amazing country of ours as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, Mark your calendars. Tomorrow is one of our combined band rehearsal days on Tuesday, November 15th. So this means 8th grade band bells 1 and 2 will and combine two. and 7th grade bell band bells 6 and 7 will combine to prepare for their concert on Wednesday evening. Make sure to be organized and keep up with the classwork you missed. Also, plan to support our Sycamore families and all those challenged with epilepsy com complications. By the way, there are 3.4 million people nationwide dealing with epilepsy, so wear purple this Wednesday, November 16th, to support Epilepsy Awareness Month. Next, we are very grateful for International Week. Yes, to recognize International Week, we have our Sycamore Junior High School News Crew correspondent, Diana, who is working with our International Club to bring us some great interviews from different international experiences around the world. Let's go over to Diana. Hi, I'm Diana. I'm a member of the International Club. Did you know International Education Week this year is from November 14th to the 18th? International Education Week is an opportunity to celebrate the benefits of international education and exchange worldwide. This is a joint initiative of the U.S. Department of State and the U.S. Department of Education to promote programs that separate Americans for a global environment and attract future leaders from abroad to study, learn, and exchange experiences. As you know, we are fortunate to have students and teachers from all over the world. We interviewed students and teachers who come from foreign countries or lived abroad for various reasons. We interviewed several people. We will feature one interview every day. Okay, today we have Sarah and Sajida. How did you move here and what was the reason for it? Um, for my father's work. Your father's work? Okay. Same Sajida? thing. Same, Same thing. thing. All right. Um, is there a reason that it was America? Did your parents have options or no? Oh, yeah. All right, okay. Um, when you moved here, uh, people from different countries behave in different ways. Did you guys have any culture shocks? Maybe, like, like the things are bigger here. Things are bigger? Do you have an example? Cool. The yeah. school? The yeah. school? Yeah, all right. Um, is there something that you miss about France, your home country? Family. Family? Yeah. Yeah, like France. It. Yeah, all right. Okay. What's the most valuable thing about studying here? Learning another language. Yeah. Yeah, Did having you? more experiences. Yeah. Is there anything else that you guys like in particular here? Mm, the people and the food. The people and the food? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Back to Sarah and Charlie. Wow, that's really great. Thanks, Diana, and happy International Week, everyone. Okay, next we have more exciting news for all our creative writers. Ready for this? The Montgomery Women's Club is hosting their creative writing contest again this year. Oh, yeah! This is really exciting stuff! And even better, the contest starts today, November today. 14th, and runs through deadline day, December 14th. That means one month. Where you should submit your entry is on the Montgomery Women's Club Writing Contest Google Classroom with code PGHDLQA. It's right here. Again, that is code PGHDLQA. Can't As you it. see right on the screen. It's right here. Hey, so I really wanted to do this. Can we go check out the info and the rules real quick? Just real quick. Okay. Rules for creative writing contest. Okay. Let's skim here. Okay. Rules for creative writing. All right. So let's just skim here. You must have a heading on the top of the page. Must be typed. Da -da -da -da. Oh, short stories limited to 2,000 words. Poetry entries may be anywhere between 8 and 50 lines and one entry per person per category. Wait, we can submit a short story and a poem? We can do one of both? That, that's what it says. Looks like you can choose to do 
either one or do both. You can only submit one entry for each one. Let's see, what else does it say? Oh, that's really important. Waivers must be completed and signed by parents and guardians with each entry. Oh, yikes. It looks like if we don't follow the guidelines posted on their Google Classroom, then our work will be disqualified. So I better make sure to do that. And lastly, the, this flyer says see your language arts teacher or I guess that would be me that would be Miss Adams for the waivers or to answer any questions you may have all right let me add that to my to-do list me too I think that I would do a poem what do you think you'll enter um probably a short story okay next up we have Carter with the top 10 what's up everyone I'm Carter with your top 10 survey results Last week, the question was, what is your favorite military division? In fifth place, we have the Army. In fourth place, we have Air Force. In third place, we have the Marines. Second place, Navy. And in first place, Space Force. This week, the question is, if you could travel anywhere in the U.S., where would it be? See you later. Bye. No, you have to do your wave thing. That's what everyone loves. Yeah. So, okay, three, two, one. See you later. Bye. Thank you, Carter. Next up, birthdays. birthdays. Birthdays are great. Happy birthday to Gracie G, Isabel L, and Seth P, and staff members Miss Abbas Lee, who are all celebrating today. And Durdacon U, Olivia O, Omkar S, Aiden T, and teacher Ms. Mr. James, who all celebrated over the weekend. And a shout out to my little sister, Emma A. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> now over to Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily video announcements. On Wednesday, November 16th, we will be having the second meeting of Partners Club in the cafeteria. All students are welcome to join just by coming to the meeting. You can also join the Google Classroom using the code VNP2AOR. That's the code right here. In January, Partners Club will be taking a snow tubing trip to Perfect North. If you would like to be a part of that field trip, you need to attend at least two meetings prior to the trip. We look forward to having you join us to make friends, eat a snack, and have some fun. All right, so that's it for me. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks so much, Mr. Harris. Now over to Mr. DeJoy and Mr. Stern for our great characters of choice recognitions. Good afternoon, Aviator Nation. Mr. DeJoy and Mr. Stern here to do our Papa John's Character Awards of the Week. The nomination I have for this week goes to Luke Kopenhafer, and it says... Thank you so much for always being there for me. You are very kind and you always say hi to me in the halls. Now, you know, I know as I read this, that sounds so simple, but right. <laughs> kindness really is simple. It, it doesn't cost anything. It doesn't take much of your time. But for this certain individual student, definitely what Luke did definitely had an impact on them. So think about when you have relationships with people in the hallways or out at the bus, all those small things that you do, they definitely can have a big impact. Okay, and I have uh, Cecilia Dempsey, and um, someone mentioned that Cecilia is always helping and is very kind and also is very funny. So Cecilia, we really appreciate you doing that, and, and words do matter. That's something that Mr. Stern and I talk about when we come into your classroom. So Make sure your words are positive, encouraging, and kind. And uh, I know you will definitely make an impact on someone, even if you don't even know. Hey, and we come into your classrooms on Thursdays, but you can make a difference any day of the week. Have a great day. Thanks to all of our awesome decision makers. Great job. And now for our joke of the day. Why did the cracker go to the doctor? I don't know why. It was really crummy. <laughs> that was hilarious. That was a good one. Yeah, yeah. You're great, totally. Charlie. I, I You're a great know. person. Thank you. Thank I love you. you. Be grateful for our international opportunity, Sycamore. Smile, be kind to everyone. Do great things, Sycamore, and go, go A's! A's!